Okay, while the planter is unfolding, uh, we are replanting today. Um, we have like 88 acres left of first plant, but uh, we gotta get this replanted because we're not tearing it out. We're just like spotting in. So my dad, while I was planting yesterday, he is done planting corn and he's spotting in a few places um, of corn. Okay. Um, but that is it for him. Um, so he drew me this map. This is our field. So wherever I got to replant in all of those places. So like all of this is good. It's just like a few places like here, water was running across. Um, it just laid a little butter in the field and those beans did not make it. So got to go in and do all of these kind of a shit show, if I'm being honest. But I'm gonna get it done. I've already done this other field and I got a couple spots in that little field. But this is my first one where like, I have to have a full on game plan because this is intense. So I think I'm just going to, this is the same field. It just like, there's two separate parts of it. Um, so I'm going to drive all the way around the trees and start back here. I think I'm going to do this one and jump to this little one and then here. Basically, I got to figure out how to run over the least amount of good beans as possible while still getting all of my spots. Just trying to figure out how to be efficient. now to drive across perfectly good paint. See, like they're little, little sparse right there. Yes, that is on the map. You can see where there's not enough beans. My dad just drew me the map to like make sure that I didn't miss any spots. Like I probably would have missed like that little one over there. Um, it's from a distance I probably wouldn't have seen it but he went out and drove in a gator he drove across the whole field so we have it all and then I almost forgot to change the field so should pop up there it is new work and then I also have to change it up here on field view and I'll actually have to make a new field um, for replant So this little spot right here needs planted in and if you look at the map that is right here this little spot so i think i'm gonna do this hopefully that'll get me over here if not i'll jump back over here and do that and then that's actually probably a better idea to do this and then yeah <laughs> do look at that and i actually came up with a better idea when I was talking it through for YouTube, so. Okay, so I think I've just about got that hole filled in this giant thing right here. I've gotta go down one more, but like where it goes there, I got it planted pretty much just right down through there. That was a little uh, different texture. And then got up through there. And then I think I've got a few spots over here. I've got to get these on the other side of the lane and then all of these. Okay, so I just finished that field. It's a 97 acre field and I replanted 14 acres in it exactly. Um, yeah, please ignore my dirty fingernails uh, from loading the planter this morning, but yeah, you can see all the little places. Oh no, what I do? Um, 
that I replanted. So yeah, and then we have this map to turn into our crop insurance. That was fun. Some of them you can't really see because they're dark, um, but yeah, super fun. Okay, so I've moved over to this other field that we're pretty much just having to completely go across. It's, it does suck because spots of it are fine. Like this part that I'm going through right now, please ignore the volunteer corn where all of our corn got blown down um, last fall, like the ears fell off of it because it was harvest time. Um, and uh, yeah, so now we have just a stupid amount of volunteer corn and we haven't sprayed any of it yet. Um, so yeah, we got that to deal with. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, some of it's fine. And then some of it looks like this, like there is nothing there. So, in these spots, I'm planning like a population of like 155, and in the spots that like aren't bad or pretty good, it's like a population of 60,000. So, um, yeah, those are seeds per acre. So, right here, it's 155, but as you can see, right up there, like there's more plants that came up, so I will actually bump that population down, and it is really nice on this deer planter, it, you can reset like five five population numbers and you can see them automatically lowering their population by units super nice it makes replanting a lot easier especially in a situation like this where part of things did come up I will say though I have already uh, have a headache because I feel like I'm going cross-eyed um, like I'm staring so hard at what's in front of me to try to make sure that I am on the right population that I'm not missing anything and just like it's way better when it's like overcast which it, it finally is starting to cloud up actually there's nothing on the radar but my dad and I were just on the phone and it really really does look like it's like building back there so not really sure what's gonna happen with that, but I wouldn't mind just a giant cloud, like a nice white fluffy cloud, not a rain cloud, to just come block the sun so I don't go blind. Cause like, I don't wanna put sunglasses on either cause like then you can't, can't see. I may have already lost my mind. I'm only 23 acres into this. And I think I have like a solid, like 150 more to go. Great. So I think we got about 50 acres left to go. This is our mapping system. It is a patchwork. Um, so the green areas are where the population was a lot higher. So like those are the areas that were drowned out. Um, oh no, now it's not loading. But right through here, it's kind of a higher ground. Just ignore the volunteer corn. We're gonna kill all that when we spray. But these beans are really pretty good. Um, so I can lower the population way down on these. And then there's some patches over there, and over there that are gonna need higher population. But for the most part, right through here, it's not too bad. So I'm actually just working it straight now to kind of put an end um, like like it's the edge of the field because this is where I actually stopped planting the first time around. So I finished that part of the field, like that 80 acres um, the other day, but it's just a lot easier like when you're like, going in, oh shoot, there it goes, uh, to turn on this versus the stuff that was planted a couple days ago. Um, otherwise, that stuff won't come up as well. So yeah. And then I just have my little piece of the pie to finish out. So probably another 15 acres or so, because these are, I think, I don't know if these are half mile rows. I think so, close to it. So it takes a little bit to work that out, but I'm on the home stretch. Finally 
we finish up, um, just headed back to the shop. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Um, yeah, uh, my dad is working ground for tomorrow morning for me. I think Jeff um, went home. But yeah, um, hopefully, I'm not even going to say that that's going to be all the replant we have because I'll jinx myself and I'll be replanting till the 4th of July. We have done that before. I did finally have to fill the seed tender by myself and I ended up covered. Um, but it's fine. That is not going to get planted because it's never going to dry out. Um, unless we get into like a drought, I don't see uh, that water ever leaving, so. All done with my day of replant. Um, tomorrow we go back to stuff that needs to be planted for the first time. I have 88 and a half acres left. Fingers crossed and praying that nothing else needs replanted. Um, and I actually get to go home early because the field my dad is working a second time. Um, it's still too wet to plant, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit even in the morning before I can go plant that. So I'll have plenty of time to get my tractor and planter ready. So I actually get to go home early. I do have to walk like half a mile down the highway. We left the gator down there, so gotta go get that. But other than that, it's been a day. So he got the tractor started. Unfortunately, we do have more replant. We did not get the rain that we needed um, yesterday, but it is giving us a chance to get a couple of wet places um, planted in. So looking on the bright side of things, but I forgot my iPad, which is very important um, because we have to have field view to turn in all of those replant maps to insurance. So gotta get that first. Got the goods. Okay, before I pull out of the shed and the light makes it really hard to see what I'm doing on here. So I've got my field view and we're just gonna go to, well first we're gonna go to our settings and make sure that that drive is connected. Um, like I said in a previous video, I think that we could not, we had some technical difficulties with the harness this year. So this was our, we just put, plugged this in like halfway through um, to get everything ready to go. So back to our home, we're gonna go to our map. Let that load up for a second. I think we need to get a new iPad case for this because it's not touching very well. And then we're going to select field. So I actually already replanted a little bit in this field that we're going to. And it's just easier for insurance purposes to create a whole separate map um, for replant. So I'm going, or it should just be right here should be is this it Adam Swinney replant and we want to make that the active field yes confirm we still have those beans in the planter so this is all the stuff that I replanted the other day um, and we usually farm this as a whole field but because of um, soil, moist soil moisture we had kind of split this up so this is all coming up. It was planted like a week later than this. So this did not come up because it just got um, too much water too fast on it. So that's what we replanted. But there's a couple spots in here that we have to go in. So the first one that I need to replant is right here. As you can see from past years, that does lay wet. Um, so we didn't plant it the first time around because there was water in it. And then right here. So I'm gonna have to go back in there and that also is not planted at all. But when we turn this map into insurance, it's just gonna help us um, in them to reach a settlement and all of that. But it also shows population and all of that to show how much seed we actually used, how bad the field actually was. So yeah, super excited. Um, definitely a really handy tool. The insurance guys love it. It makes both of our lives way easier. Okay, it's kind of hard to see like right here, but I've planted here, there, and down here. And you can see my little triangle. Um, I bumped the population up to 180 uh, just because it's still a little wet. They're not all going to come up and it's so late in the year, but I just have to fill in. I don't really know what happened there because there's not a gap there, um, but I just have to fill in that little triangle. 
Okay, got this little spot done and just have to head back out on the road and drive down um, to get the other spot. So I don't know if you can really see if it's coming across on the video, but my dad, he worked these this morning. Uh, I just had to let him dry for a while, but he actually worked his way in there and worked his way back out. So I'm going to drive across it and plant that wet hole. You can actually see it all where it's all dark. Um, and then I'm going to plant my way out. And the reason we do it like that is, is because if you drive over what is already planted, it doesn't come up as well. So if I plant my way out, it'll look a little better. More will come up that way. So here we go. Okay, so I've got this started, this whole um, I actually went ahead, it's big enough that I put full end rows and I'm just going to go back and forth here. You can see that's where I just finished replanting, so it's not that far over there. But, yeah, super fun and then I'll just plant my way back out to the road. And hopefully that will be the end of planting 22. Okay, so we are just about ready to close up our thing. We've got our section control working wonderfully today. Thank goodness for that. It's gonna make things look a lot better. And we have a couple more little rounds to go and we should be good. Finally planting my way out. Look how nice that looks. Never been so happy to turn something off in my life. So we got our two spots worked in there or planted in. Um, that one actually ended up being a lot bigger than I thought. So that was a couple acres that we replanted. But yeah, we are back in the shed and we have our nice map to turn into insurance thanks to FieldView. It also come in handy this fall, um, knowing exactly where uh, different hybrid or not hybrid varieties and beans were planted um, because they're going to be all mixed in here because what I planted the rest of this was not the same as I planted right there. So really helpful information.